warning, 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 eh, eh, eh. This is an advanced build, and if you don't know what you're doing, please stop and go back and watch other videos before you try this one. Because this is a crazy build to win competitions. This is a 20 gauge continuous wrap build. Watch the video. What's up guys? It's B-Man Vapes and I'm back with you with a build. This time I'm going to show you how to build a continuous build. What is a continuous build? Well, I'll explain. A continuous build is a build that you use one wire to build both coils without cutting them, without doing anything to it besides building the two coils and that's it. Uh, the easiest way to start that I do is I'll use my coil jig which you don't have to you can use a screwdriver I just use a coil jig it makes it a little quicker and easier. I make my first coil which I'm using 20 gauge 20 gauge night chrome I'm gonna build a 5 wrap 20 gauge continuous build for competition on my AV Able. So to start out, you're going to make your one little half loop around. Of course, it ain't that far out. Half loop. Then you're going to take it, make 5 wraps. There's 2, 3, four, five, like so. <clears throat> Pull it off. And there's like a little, you'll see like a little gap, like so. I just stick it back on. Give it a little push over. Tightens it up. As you see, there's no more gap right there. Five wraps. Straight piece. Alright, I gotta take out my old build. I had some uh, 26 ga triple 26 gauge, 32 gauge alien. Clapton's in here. Four wrap. I had a moment out at a point oh nine point one. <clears throat> I like my very low builds from Max. I like low builds for just about everything. But that's just me. I don't think I ever hardly vape on anything really over one point three. Once in a while I'll throw a point four point five up on my series build all right so the best way to make a continuous build is to have a three post deck and what you're gonna do is you're gonna insert your coil the long end is gonna go through your center post like so stick your other end in And what I do is I try to position it a little bit of where I want it to be at. So I want it to be about right there. Now, for a continuous build, the way I do it is as soon as I get as soon as I get my coil where I want it to be at. I will go ahead and tighten down the center lead. That's the first one I tighten is the center. Bam. No matter what, it's not moving. Your coil is there. Now you can go ahead and tighten down 
your other side. Clip off the extra. All right, so now it's going to look like this. <clears throat> now what you're going to do is you're going to bend this up just a little bit so it stands up at a little angle, as you see. You're going to stick your jig or your screwdriver on top so it's sitting like so and you're going to proceed to wrap it the same amount of wraps that's on the other side so I'll be wrapping it five times now since this is a thicker gauge it's going to be a lot harder so therefore you might need a pair of pliers to pull and tighten and get all your little gaps out as much as possible and then you can play with it once you're heating it up and touching it but we'll get there <clears throat> so before we go any farther, I want to stop right here and say, if you're using a mech to build, lock make sure your uh, lock ring is locked so you cannot fire, or two, just take it off the device itself, period, and build it on an ohms reader, or build it on uh, anything that ain't a mod that's not going to fire on you. <clears throat> Me, this has a lock on it, so I can't fire it. I'm not afraid of building on it. Now, with that being said, let's go forth and start my first wrap. Like I said, <clears throat> with 20 gauge, it is going to be a little tougher and a little harder. So, you are going to want to use pliers to pull and tighten it to where you want it. All right. So, it will look like so for your first wrap. Wrap it again. <clears throat> Use the pliers to tighten it. And yes, sometimes building a continuous build till you get the hang of it, it can be a little pain. But once you get the hang of it, you'll be going like crazy with them all the time. So, I have two. four all right now that you see I got four on there now on your fifth wrap since this is a little thicker I'm gonna put like a little bend in it take out this little bend at the very end all right now on the very last one you're gonna bend it and try to feed it through your post hole so you're feeding it through your last post hole Once you feed it through your last post hole, you're going to just tight pull it and slowly tighten it up. All right. Then 
once you get it where you want it same way you want to move it to position it in the right spot once you have it in that area as you see you will tighten it down like so and it's gonna look like so yeah you see my one side got a few little gaps in it not a problem your handy dandy uh, pliers you're gonna take them on the side and slowly squeeze Cut extra off. Don't need. <clears throat> so it's looking like this two coils, one wire, one complete wire, continuous build. Not very hard to do, but they do get a little hard when you're using thicker gauge. <clears throat> so I advise if you're going to try for your first time doing a continuous build, mm, go with 24 or 22, something a little thinner that you. It's a little bit easier to wrap why it's still on the. Addy itself, your RDA. <clears throat> Excuse me, one second. Grab a drink. So, raise it up, make sure they're both the same height. Looking good so far. Sitting here playing with the coil back and forth, working it into the right exact spot that I want it to. Where I want it to be at. Right off the bat, I already know where this build's going to be at because I build them all the time for competitions that I go to. This is a going to be a 0.1 exact. Unlock it. Nose it there for a second. Pulse it. little pulsing action back and forth so all you're watching is little play back and forth here and there
almost got it all where I want it heated up nice. This is what she looks like. Heats up nice and perfect. No hesitation. Just ready to rock. And this right here, folks, this build is what wins competitions. If you watch any of the cloud comps on YouTube or anywhere, 99% of the time it's either 20 gauge or 21 gauge. Majority of that time is always 20 gauge, 5 rat dual three millimeter oming out at a point one chuck them clouds <clears throat> now I'm gonna stop I'm gonna wick this up real fast I'm gonna get it wet I'm gonna juice it and I am gonna come back and I'm gonna show you the clouds what's up guys and I'm back I'm wicked, juiced, ready to go. See that? It's just saying I chuck clouds. Now, this is a very advanced build. If you don't know what you're doing, please do not build this yet. Do a little research, watch a few videos learn up on what batteries you should be using and what batteries you can use to build this low now I like to use LG brownies everybody else like to use VTC 5's uh, VTC 4's and 25 R's I got 25 R's these just give me a better oomph of my power Every time I push the button, let me show you what 20 gauge does. Clouds, bro, clouds. I'm talking easy 12 15 foot clouds I knock them off all the time even when I go to the cloud comps at Omi's I blow off the wall with this build now if you can build advanced builds you have them batteries try this sucker out and let me know what you think cuz you will chuck them clouds let me tell you That is all I have for you to learn today. Peace out.